hello, hello, hello. I am making frozen yogurt. Here in the Poconos, a lot of the frozen yogurt places have closed down. I thought maybe that was uh, the same everywhere. It turns out that when I went to New Jersey, they still have the same frozen yogurt places. It's just that here in the Poconos, it just didn't work out. Regardless, about 10 years ago, I went to Florida. That's when they started selling yogurt in the market again because it was a thing of back in the 80s and 90s uh, at the World Trade Center. I remember being a kid and having some, and actually, um, well, anyway, that's a story for another day, but it used to be Colombo frozen yogurt back then. And I always liked the vanilla flavor one, which I'm not sure it comes close to the tart one. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was vanilla. I know it was white. Oh, it was French vanilla, that's what it was. I used to love that so much. At any rate, um, turns out I decided as soon as I got in from Florida 10 years ago, I started looking for an ice cream machine that would have a compressor so that way I would not have to deal with the ice and the salt and all that. So one of my uh, fun greens these days, right, that I've been craving for has been uh, a sea salt caramel ice cream and I got it the other day from uh, uh, the fa favorite brand, whatever it is, which all of them are going downhill. They're not using real cream. They definitely don't use real yogurt. Um, and uh, I'll be honest with you, mine is not perfect because I purchased uh, something that I is not like me to do, but this is what happens when you go shopping when you're hungry. And I got this uh, sea salt caramel pink Himalayan salt uh, bet by Better Goods. Never heard of them. Uh, I poured some just now, and I probably poured a little bit too much. But now that it's becoming frozen, it's tasting better. And I put sugar aside from that. And let me show you what else I did. I bought these caramel bits. Now, this is not a healthy thing, not a healthy th treat. Um, I did buy condensed milk to make my own caramel, and I just had a little bit, so don't mind me. Uh, and so now condensed milk also comes in coconut condensed milk, and I've seen it in caramel. So I have to go to ShopRite to see if they have it, because we have four or five supermarkets here, and I didn't go to all of them looking for it. Don't mind me as I suck on the caramel. And so I poured... A handful of this into my yogurt maker and so I think that although it cannot melt it is spreading the color is taking and I don't think that the sea salt caramel gave it enough color so I believe those little nip bits are helping and it's gonna be a little treat maybe I should put some walnuts how about that hmm. let me do that and so it takes about 45 minutes to do as you can see it's already almost frozen and i don't think i want to put too many more too many walnuts it's not a bad idea <laughs> instead of uh, butter pecan I'm, I'm making it a uh, sea salt caramel with walnut ice cream so i'm going to pause this for a little bit it is actually technically done when you hear that sound it means it can't take it anymore of course the walnuts kind of like didn't help so i'll be right back <laughs> 